What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So Apple recently released a new firmware update for the AirPods Pro 2, and this is available for the AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C. It's also available for the AirPods Pro 2 that use Lightning, and it's the 7B19 update. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about the new update and how you can update your AirPods. And this was released to go alongside the latest iOS 18.1 software update that was just released in order for you to check what the latest version of your airpods is there's a publicly available page for airpods pro firmware releases and you can visit it and you can see here the latest firmware versions for the airpods pro 2 with magsafe charging case or usb-c you can see the version is 7b19 and the airpods pro 2 with lightning charge case with uh, these ones they also have a firmware version that is currently 7B19. And then if you have all these other devices like an AirPods 4, AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation and these other devices, you can always see the associated firmware or software version that those devices should be on. To check the current version that your AirPods are on, make sure they are connected to your iPhone. So do that by opening the case like this. You might get a pop-up that says not your AirPods like this, especially if you land in or you were sharing them with someone. And if this happens, you want to go ahead and make sure you reset your AirPods. So you can do that by pressing and holding this back button until the white light turns to orange. So let me hold it so it turns to white. And if I give it a few seconds and continue to hold, you notice the blinking light is still blinking white. So I'll continue to hold and it's still blinking white. And now it started to blink orange and now I can let go of this button. And now these are Benjamin's Apple Pro 2 and you can see the current status of charge for these AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C. So the case 100%, the AirPods themselves are at 100%. I made sure to charge them before making this video because it's a very important step that you need to take in order to update your AirPods. To check what the current version that the AirPods are on, you can go into your settings. Just below your Apple ID profile, you see that the AirPods show up right there. If they don't, you can also go into the Bluetooth section and then you'll see the AirPods Pro that are connected right there. So just click on it. And if you go all the way down, you can go to read about the version. And under this section, you can see they'll tell you what the version is and the case version as well. So the version 7B19. So I am up to date. At the same time, it shows you the case version as well. Let me know if the case version that you are seeing is 7.1.7.0, as sometimes this tends to differ. And yeah, the case that I have is pretty much the standard one that comes with this, no engraving. But that's how you basically check for the update. And now that I'm up to date, I wanna show you how you can update your AirPods to the latest firmware version in case your AirPods are not yet updated. What you want to do, actually there's now a pop-up screen that just popped up here. It says what's new in AirPods and here they are saying respond with Siri by moving your head. So if you get a notification, you can respond with Siri by moving your head side to side for yes or up and down for no. And they have hearing protection, which is part of the new update that the AirPods get. And they have improved voice quality quality your voice will sound more clear in calls and recordings. On my other iPhone that I was using to record this video, there's a pop-up screen that also came up. It says adaptive audio dynamically respond to your environment and cancers or allows external noise, personalized volume and conversation awareness, which is something that's new with the new AirPods Pro 2. And you can see when you click continue adaptive mode, it will tell you what that is and you can turn it on right now. And Personalized volume automatically adjust the volume of the media in response to your environment. I'll turn it on right now. Conversation awareness and when you start speaking, AirPods will lower media volume, reduce background noise and enhance the voices in front of you, which is something that's cool. And I'll turn this on now. Now to update your AirPods, it's pretty simple. Just open the case and wait for the green light to disappear. So give it a few seconds and it will disappear. And uh, let's see, 
give it a few seconds, boom, it's disappeared. And that means they are now fully connected and make sure your AirPods are charged both the case and the pods themselves above 50%. I always just charge mine to 100% before attempting to update. And once this is done, I'm basically good to go. I can leave that screen up or close it. And once I do that, I just lay them down on the table like this and wait for about 10 to 20 minutes and if I allow that time to pass I usually come back and then check the new firmware version that my AirPods have and usually it's updated and is the current one which is the easiest way and the most common way that people update you can always go into your version here and then see the version you are on and you can see we are current and on the latest version if this doesn't work then you can make sure your AirPods are connected to your phone or iPad, whatever device you are using. And what you want to do is take one of the pods out and listen to music and you make sure it's working and then put the pod back and then take the other side or the right side and listen to music for about 30 seconds for each pod if they are both working and that's good you can put them back in the case and then just lay them next to your iphone just like that and give it about 10 to 20 minutes for it to update and it will essentially update in the background. If you have a Mac device of which this USB-C cable that I have is connected to my Mac and you want to update your AirPods, it's pretty easy to connect this to your Mac. Just make sure you are connected via Bluetooth and lay them close to your Mac just like we were doing with the iPhone and in most cases they will just update. If they don't update on the Mac, what you can do is do pretty much the same as what we did on the iPhone. Remove one pod, listen to music and test that it's working. Do the same for the other side and then put them back and lay them close to your Mac. The good thing about the Mac is that when you lay them close to your Mac as well, whether they are connected or not, doesn't really matter. The advantage of having them connected is that they'll be charging and at the same time, it will have that communication with your Mac if it's connected on the Wi-Fi or using Ethernet, of course. And once you do this, whether you leave the case open or closed, it doesn't really matter. Give it about 10 to 20 minutes and it will update to the latest version or using your Mac. We're plugging the other USB end or USB-C end into the iPhone, unlike the Mac, doesn't seem to like help the update itself. So the pod plugged in method only seems to work on the Mac. Now, since we've updated, let's talk about the new features and changes that this new update has to offer. So if we go into our AirPods Pro 2 settings, you can see the noise controls is pretty much the same right there. And you can see some of the UI changes recently implemented. And now if you click hearing health, you notice there's hearing protection. AirPods can help your hearing from exposure to loud noises. And when you click there, you can see loud sound reduction can actively reduce your exposure to loud environment sounds in transparency and adaptive modes loud sounds reduction is not active in off mode so if you're using airpods and there's loud noises in adaptive transparency mode hearing protection will go a long way in helping and if you are in a country or region where hearing assistance is active you also be able to see that but for me it seems like in my country or region the hearing assistance isn't actually there so i can't test this yet apple actually had to get approval for it to be able to push out that new function or feature but in my country and region this is not something that's supported yet so that's just a quick update here on the new update for the airpods pro 2 with USB-C and the ones with lightning let me know what you think about this video and if you liked it leave a like and let me know if you have the hearing assistant in your country or region and how you are going to be using it with your airpods pro my name is Ben and I'm signing off. Peace.